Well, 200 years of Columbia history will soon be on display for the public. It's at the Babcock Center on Bull Street, which is being converted into apartments. News 19's Nate Stanley has an inside look. Close to 200 years of history is packed into the walls of the Babcock building on Bull Street in Columbia. According to Historic Columbia's Cat Allen, the building, which was opened in the 1850s, has taken different shapes throughout its history, but is most known for housing the disabled. It was built to house and treat um, people who had mental illnesses, who had physical disabilities, um, and their treatment varied greatly. She says the property changed ownership a number of times, at one point laying vacant and abandoned. It is now being managed and rehabbed by Clackland Property, who converted the space into 218 apartments. Amy Creason is the vice president of Clackland and says a centuries-old building is not always the easiest to work with. Definitely comes with its own set of challenges. You often don't know what's behind a wall or, you know, you want to move something and you just can't move it because it's part of the structure of the building. In 2020, a fire broke out inside the Babcock, destroying its iconic cupola. Creason says that will soon be on display. Thankfully, we are going to be resurrecting the cupola and we hope to raise it back to its glory by June. In an attempt to preserve the history and share the building's legacy, Historic Columbia is offering tours of the Babcock on February 25th. The tours are an hour long and we are spending the entire time in the Babcock building. And we're also going to be hearing about several individual stories, um, again from the periods of the 1880s and the 19-teens. Samantha Miller has been living in a Babcock apartment since July. She says before living here, she had no idea about the building's history. She sees the historic tours as a way to educate both tenants and people in the surrounding neighborhood. I went to college here for four years, had absolutely no idea what this building was, where it was. So, I mean, I support it. I can see how other people might feel like it's an invasion of privacy, but I think it's a really great idea. In Columbia, Nate Stanley, News 19, WLTX. As for construction at the Babcock, management says the renovation should be finished by May or June of this year, with 60 units still waiting to be completed.